There we go. Uh, this one is called Unbound Worlds Apart. Uh, I think it's a 2D platformer made in Unreal. Nice. Uh, by Alien Pixel. Uh, they have their their social media on the on the main menu. So if you want to see that, uh, you can if you download the demo. And yeah, let's try this out. I don't know much about this, but I just know that it looks very pretty from what I saw. There's... Okay, there's no intro? Or maybe I skipped it accidentally. Okay, so let's see what I can do. I have a single, a single jump. No wall jump. Uh, controls. And I can do a thing with my left shoulder button. The logo design is cool. I don't know what this does. It's like a pulse. Is it an attack? I can't charge it either. The look at this this level design. It's like the the background. It's it's interesting. Press X to talk. I'm I am pressing X. Oh, it's square. Uh oh, but that's because it was uh the Xbox controller layout. Yeah. Most of these demos, uh, Terrapulse included, uh, usually have just a single controller uh, mapped out for for uh, like when it appears on screen, you're just gonna see a, a single controller layout. Like most are made with uh, the Xbox controller in mind. Hello Sully, are you excited for this evening ceremony? I still can't believe that Braum will be joining us. It's all everyone in the village has been talking about for months. Just imagine a mighty guardian of the Mage Order here in Little Rue Village. Remarkable. Be careful not to stray too far, child. You wouldn't want, want you wouldn't want to miss Brom starting the ritual. Run along now and play safe. I like how I have a little. I, it's like a candle, like my the character's little uh, hood thing. It's kind of like a candle. X to use the lever. Okay. So, square or X, if you're playing on Xbox, uh, interacts. Okay. Push or pulling objects. The art style does remind me a little bit of Ori in the Blind Forest. Oh. Weird portals, weird things. It's a very interesting cutscene style. I just realized that my mouse is on screen. Yeah. And but oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's. Oh, wow. This shouldn't be possible. The great closure was supposed to seal the portals forever. Whoever did his has power beyond the Mage Order's understanding. Portal opened without warning, flooding the village with fire and demons. Who has fallen? You must find Brom. Yup. I can come. What? Wait, what did I get? I was looking at chat, I didn't see what I got. Oh boy. Oh no! No, 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 no. Oh, and I can't. I just realized that I can't use, what's this? X to grab the crystal. The sea of reality flows unbound. Our vibrant waters lap the shoreline of every world. I shall tune your essence to the sea so you may call upon the worlds apart. Oh, I'll be to toggle the portal. Oh, so that's what this is. So it's like a world of fire and a world of water.
What, what are these blue things I keep seeing? Oh, they're checkpoints. Okay, nice. Look at that. Oh, nice. I'm liking this a lot. So, like, you can toggle them very easily. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, all right. Oh, it's occupying the same spot as... As... Oh, nice. Yeah, I also I also remember uh, another game. Uh, it was a, a horror game, right? Uh, Sully, I'm glad to see you made it out of Fru alive. We were, we were all busy prepared for Brom, preparing for Brom's arrival. Everyone was just so happy and excited. Then it all happened so fast. I can still see these piercing eyes staring back at us from the portal. If only Brom had been there, maybe he could have fended the demons off. I hope he's okay. Cinematic drama horror set. Yeah, I think that's it. There's a world, uh, a game where you play in two worlds at the same time, yes? There's like... Uh, it reminded me of Silent Hill, but you play at the same time in the real world and in the horror world, uh, if that makes any sense. I don't remember the name, but I think that's it. Welcome to our safe haven, lad. You're among friends here. Folk here are coming and going, heading out into the forest to find your lost kinsfolk. Best take a map if you're planning on adventuring out as well. It'll keep you on the true path. Oh, and there's no charge, lad. We've got, all got to help each other in these dark times, right? Wait. Oh, that's a map. So this is a Metroidvania. If you're seeking an audience with Brom, I'm afraid you're too late. Our guardian has concealed himself in this odd chamber. As soon as the demons, ar as, as the demons arrived, he conjured it out of thin air. No matter how many spells we try, the door simply won't budge. If only we had some crystal shards, and we could use their power to pry it open. The medium, yes, that's it. Hmm. Oh, I can talk to this guy. Oh, I can't use... Wait. What what happened there? Like, did you just see me sprout wings? Like fire wings? Blasted thing, this teleporter really has seen better days. You know, there was a time when people were allowed to travel between worlds freely. They'd use magic gates to open portals and woomph, they'd be whisked away. Think of this beacon as a smaller version of that. If this was working, it could take you anywhere in Vaya. It doesn't work. Oh, I think I can't reach that guy. Not now, at least. LB to toggle the portal. Uh... Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Let's uh, not go into the blood. Thank you. It looks like blood. Mm-hmm. Secret place. Mm. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, so I have to push this closer to here so I can jump over it. Wait, no. No, I don't think that's it. Whoa, 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 whoa wait. Uh, about the Steve game. Playing two worlds at the same time, never seen before. An officially patented gameplay. How do you patent gameplay? That plays out across two worlds, displayed at the same time. What? How, how do you patent gameplay? I, 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 like, call me an inexperienced game dev, if you will, but I have no idea how you even, how do you patent gameplay? And how do I get past this? Because it's because you would think like you you can patent uh, console ideas, like for example, uh, Nintendo has a patent for oh, nice. Nintendo has a patent for the Switch, the Switch's uh, hardware, but you don't patent. Uh, mechanics uh, as far as i understand it after the mage order discovered interworld travel a golden age of unity and shared insight began well what what the guy just disappeared on me the <laughs> big brain streak yeah oh small brain streak now i guess Mm -hmm. Now let's go back down. Maybe they, they implemented a new way. Maybe. that That's the one thing I can think of that would uh, make them be able to patent gameplay like that. Like they developed a technology that's... That only they have and that's a specific way of rendering the worlds. Maybe, probably. If it if that is true, then that's that could be it. We are tuned to the essence of another world, a place of inversion and verticality. Oh. Oh, what? Press X to use the waypoint. Hello. Interesting, you seem to be carrying a crystal shard, a valuable treasure indeed. Crystals were once the fuel that allowed us to open portals with magic gates. It was before the Mage Order discovered the existence of those demons and their foul corruption. Now, those crystals have been smashed up and travel between worlds has been strictly forbidden. Coming out to the new Xbox and it's going to be exclusive. Hmm. Yeah, that, that could be it then. Yeah, it reminded me of you from the of the, the acid trip from the other day, huh? Oh! <laughs> Fun. Oh, this thing just... At least, it's not as bad because there, you, you, we, we're not seeing as much... Uh... Uh, as much... Uh... Oh, we got, got back to where we started. 
we're not seeing as much um, visual effects as in Everhood. It's, it's it just flips upside down, but like the controls don't reverse. There's no crazy shenanigans. Cause the world to wither and die. Is the rot set into its core like a piece of forgotten fruit? Why do these people just disappear? Well, like, what is what is up with this? It does. It is a very mysterious game at its core. Oh. This thing actually grows bigger in the other dimension. How am I supposed to get down there though? There's a puzzle here. I just... I just can't tell what it is. Yeah, the beginning... The, there was practically no uh, onboarding at all. But... It's making me really curious, like, the, the, the whole idea about the world being divided into different dimensions and the dimensions having different properties. Oh! Oh, that's how you do it. A piece of crystal, this has some strange energy. Uh Oh wait, no, I I actually I hadn't read that. I thought we had already had that conversation. Hmm. Yeah, the door is a little a little bit different in the other dimension. And like depending on the on the portals you go through, the game actually changes a bit. Uh, let's. Oh, we can fast travel now. Like in some places, the portal doesn't work at all. In other places, the portal does completely different things. We have become attuned to the essence of a distant world. Place of illumination and allure. Stay still to see the shadows. Oh, so the portal here is always working? But it only... Okay, here's, here's the thing. This is a black and white world. The portal is always up. But you have to stay still, because otherwise it closes on you. And you can't see anything. Like that. So that's why that guy said, hold still to see the shadows. So you have to walk very slowly like this. That is nice. Come on, guy. He's not gonna move from there, is he? Can 
Can I jump over him? No, I cannot. Come here. Come here, Hugh. Come here. Come here. Oh, God. Nope. I can't jump over it. Oh wait, I can't I can't get past it. So there ha there has to be a way. Hmm. Buttons don't seem to do anything. And the spider detects me from very far away. What's the big brain move here? What's what is the big brain move here? Let me try going over here. No, it, it detects me from really far. Like, see? Oh, wait a moment. Uh, yeah, that's it. And it can't follow me now. The heck is this? Probably not something I want to touch. Oh, this. Okay, so the platform breaks if you see under the light. Uh, if you see it in the shadows, I mean. Oh no. Okay, so I think I have to guide that guy. Come here. There we go. See? There's some big brain plays involved. I'm I'm very Very curious about this game. Okay, so I have to be patient here. More than that, uh, one and a two and a three and a one and a two. Uh, waypoint, secret place. Oh my god. Ooh, this is gonna be difficult. Okay, so every two uh, hits the one on the right doesn't fall. They have different timings. There we go. 
This wave of corruption started with the first, that places the origin of all that is and all that shall ever be. Who are these weird people that I'm meeting and then they're disappearing on me? Oh yeah, nice. Is there another one? No, there isn't. There's a crystal. Piece of crystal. This has some strange energy. Uh, let us go back. Where can we go now? Bring fragments. Oh, okay, let's fast travel then. I think we have all the fragments we need. This has been a very interesting experience so far. It's kind of chilling. It has a little uh, uh, somewhat Hollow Knight-esque vibe. It is a bit chilling. Uh, but it, I'm also surprised how it manages to do a lot of things with by giving the player very little. Like I have a jump, I have an interact button, and I have the portal. I have three actions. And it the game does a lot with just these three. Oh my, you found some crystal shards? These are exactly what I need to break the magic seal around Brom's chamber. Behold. See, shards such as these can be used to amplify magic or diffuse it entirely. As a token of my gratitude, you may enter first. Hope Brom offers the insights you seek. Mm. X to enter the tower. Hello. I like his design. Welcome, Sully of Rue. As you made quick work of my magic seal. After the attack, I sealed myself here to escape the corruption of Aron, the Demon King. Should Aron steal my essence, he, should bring, he could bring this entire world to ruin. That is why I cannot face him alone. We must find others to help us fight back, Sully. I believe your newfound gift will come in most handy. Oh, gonna go get some Halloween skins in Overwatch. Good luck! Some, some of these skins can be a little bit hard to get. I mean, I haven't played Overwatch in a while, but... Last I remember, some skins could be hard, uh, a pain to get. Good luck out there, Jew. See you later. Stay a while. I'll tell you what must be done to ensure the survival of reality itself. I think that's the end of the demo. Mm-hmm. Thank you for playing Unbound Worlds Apart Prologue. Uh, yeah, that was Unbound Worlds Apart. Uh, I am gonna gonna wish list this one, for sure. Uh, it's an interesting little Metroidvania, uh, and it's also a simple one. I, I can't get over how simple this game is mechanically, uh, but it does extract the most out of uh, out of its mechanics, which is something that you expect from a good Metroidvania. Um, but yeah. Music was, uh, it has a very chilling tone. Uh, and this, it is a little bit missable, but yeah. Uh, graphics look really cool. I like how the game looks very good for, for a 2D game. Uh, I like, the animations aren't so complex, but it's more, uh, the charm of this game is arguably more in the art style than in the animations, I would say. So yes, uh, that was Unbound Worlds Apart, and I will definitely wishlist this.